Hey, my name is Tim and I'm a Cloud Support Associate here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how users can successfully import their keys into AWS Key Management System using OpenSSL without receiving invalid ciphertext errors. Let's get started. By default, OpenSSL uses the SHA1 hash function. To avoid import errors when you use the SHA256 hash function, you must encrypt your key material with OpenSSL using a specific set of parameters. Run the following command to create a customer managed key, specifying external for the key material origin. Please ensure to replace the export region and export key alias values with the details for your respective key. Your newly created CMK status is pending import until you import the key material. Please run the following command to view the key status. Download the wrapping public key and import the token using the following command. Please note the SHA256 wrapping algorithm is specified in the get parameters for import command. Generate a 256-bit symmetric key. The key material must be a 256-bit or 32-byte symmetric key in order to be used with AWS Key Management System. Run the following commands to generate the key. Verify that your OpenSSL version supports OpenSSL pkey util. The command is available only on OpenSSL 1.0.2 and later versions. Encrypt your key material with the wrapping key. Run the following command to encrypt your key material using the most recent version of OpenSSL and the wrapping key that you previously downloaded. Please note that the wrapping key is stored in public key.bin. The command generates encrypted key material.bin. You import this value as the encrypted key material into the CMK. Import your encrypted key material. Run the following AWS CLI command to import the encrypted key material into the CMK. After the import completes, the key status changes to enabled. Run the following command to verify the key status. Now you know how to successfully import your keys into the AWS KMS using OpenSSL without getting any invalid ciphertext errors. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.